How's it going everybody? Welcome to another episode of Sick Eric TV. Trying this video again. We're going to be taking a look at the new Developer 2 preview for the OnePlus 9 Pro and 9. This is the Android 12 Developer Preview 2 and I've installed it and I'm going to give my thoughts on it. It is different than Oxygen OS. Keep that in mind. This is Color OS and Oxygen OS put together. And let me tell you guys, it does look different and I don't know how I feel about this. It is very, very different. You get Color OS's launcher on here. So it's not as stock as OnePlus used to be. So keep that in mind when you install this and also keep it in mind that this is a developer preview. With that being said, keep in mind that if this is your daily driver, uh, maybe hold off on it but there are some quirks, but for the most part, everything seems to work. I can send messages, you know, make phone calls and things like that. So checking out the home launcher, it is seem to be a by color OS. You get a whole bunch of different options for your animations from going from page to page. So that's pretty cool. Uh, you get your layout for all your grid layouts as well. Icons, you could change your icons and you could change all the shapes of the icons, the foreground, the uh, show names, you could change custom icon. You could choose a icon pack that you want, or you could choose an icon pack that you've downloaded as well. So very, very cool on the icon front. Uh, your wallpapers, you get all your different options for wallpapers. You get your live, you get your static. Now these are all OnePlus wallpapers. You could also do an invented wallpaper, which you could choose a photo and create a wallpaper on your own. So that's pretty cool. Uh, you go further into settings, you get all your home screen modes, which will turn it into an iOS phone with all your apps on your home screen. You can do home screen layout. Uh, you can do your double tap to lock, swipe down on home screen, either global search or your notification drawer. Double tap screen to turn it on or off. You get your recent manager right here. So everything on your recent manager is kind of cool and they do have a uh, little bit of a haptic feedback when you're swiping through these as well so that's really nice very very uh intuitive uh going into over here you also do get your google feed on the left hand side so that's always nice when you swipe down on the right hand side you do have the option for your shelf your oneplus shelf you can add new widgets if you would like to that shelf as well you can choose anything you want uh, you could do it to where you swipe on it or not, custom greeting, you could do your never, never settle, weather information, storage used, data used, and then you get a toolbox on here as well. So you could add some ads to your toolbox or apps to your toolbox of whichever one you want to use. So that's pretty cool, very nice and informative right there. And of course, if you choose to uh, swipe down on the other side, it will bring down your quick tiles and you can also edit these and choose whichever ones you want. There have been some new ones added. Adobe Atmos has changed. So you get different modes instead of dynamic. Now they're calling it smart mode. You get your movie, gaming, and music. And then you also get an environment profile, which will sort of adjust the volume depending on your environment. So that's pretty cool that they include things like that. So that has been another change. So going on down into your settings, going to Wi-Fi, everything pretty much looks familiar there. Your mobile network, of course, everything looks familiar there. You get your Bluetooth, advanced settings, display codec standard, and then everything that you've connected to. Personalizations is a big change right here. You get your wallpapers, what we went through earlier. You get your always on display to choose whether or not you want analog or digital and then all your always on displays right here either show all day scheduled or power saving and then you get your display settings right here new notifications you get your horizon light options on there you get your icons which we went through earlier to customize your icons and then you also get your quick settings you could change the icons of your quick setting tiles that way you could um, adjust them either round, sparkle, sparkle two, square, or rhombus. You can do your custom colors. If you do not like any of these colors, you could go ahead and choose a color to your liking. And then you get your fingerprint sensor 
animation, which it does seem like they added several different ones. They got a fireworks, magic, and a wormhole, which is pretty cool. And then the uh, regular ones that we had before, Cosmo, Energy, Ripple, and Stripe. So I've been using the wormhole, it looks pretty cool. And then your horizon light option at the bottom. Uh, you go into your display and brightness, you get your light and your dark mode. Let's go ahead and change that to light, that looks pretty cool. You can do an auto switch to avoid disturbances and things like that. You get your auto brightness, you get your screen color mode which uh, they do have a new option, a pro mode, which is cinematic and brilliant. So that's pretty cool. Cinematic use uh, display P3 mode for wider color gamut, and then brilliant uses the widest color gamut for more faithful color rep reproduction. And you can also adjust the uh, screen temperature to default warm or cool. I've been using it on the pro mode on the brilliant, the brilliant but then you also do get your vivid and your natural. <clears throat> you also get a nature tone display which i'm guessing is like true tone on ios to where it will adjust your uh, screen temperature depending on your ambient lighting so that's pretty cool you get your eye comfort you get your video image sharpener right here which if you turn on you it will uh, change your settings to uh, qhd plus you go into color video enhancement right here you can turn that on you go into video motion enhancement. If you turn this on, it will bump you down back to full HD plus. And this will give you the options to boost your refresh rate when watching videos, either to 60 or 120. So that's pretty cool. You get your bright HDR video mode, auto rotate, auto screen off, and then you, you can change your resolution back over here. And like I said, keep in mind full HD plus when you do have your video motion enhancement on set to 120 you get your refresh rate you can do high or standard and then your screen size and uh, display right here you could choose everything that you want right there going into sound and vibrations you get your live caption do not capture uh, you get your, all your volume settings your media volume muted your ringtones your notifications uh, you could choose from anything you want on there a little bit of a different look to that as well vibration intensity uh, haptics and tones you can do your deletion sound fingerprint animation sound oh that's pretty cool what does that do okay so it gave you a little a little tick right there so that's pretty cool see finding out new things about these updates as you go dolby atmos again we went over that earlier go into advanced settings you can do your volume button function you can do media volume or ringtone default recorder auto select or add on so very very nice you go into notifications and status bar now i did notice that your status bar notifications are a little bit larger than usual can't seem to find a way to knock those down a little bit display data usage and notification drawer you can pull down lock screen to access notifications you can manage all your notifications right here and then you also get your battery percentage that you get add up top. You could also add your real time network speed if you wanted to, which I don't. Notification icons, you could do dot count or do not show. Status icons, you could take off whatever you don't want to show up top on here. So you could remove like your NFC or Wi Fi or something that you don't want up there on your status bar. So that's really cool. <clears throat> Uh, you get your password and security, of course, your lock screen, facial recognition, fingerprints, and your privacy password. You also get system security on here as well. You get your safety and emergency battery section right here. You get all your battery usage, your reverse wireless charging. You could turn that on. You could also turn it on in the uh, quick settings tile. I go back. Uh, you get your advanced settings, which will be high performance mode, optimized battery use. Uh, you can do your optimized night charging, which will charge your device a little slower overnight, depending on how fast you want to charge. Show battery percentage on status bar, wireless charging settings. You do always bedtime or custom for that quiet wireless charging. That is if you have the wireless charger from OnePlus. Uh, you get all your data usage or your battery usage right here, and then all your system 
apps to the NAND, exactly how much battery each one has been using. So really cool, of course your apps, you get all your default apps on here, special access apps, auto launch display apps, you get an app cloner, uh, your location, pretty self-explanatory, system settings, you can do your uh, navigation gestures, your navigation buttons, you can do your hide the navigation bar at the bottom, you can do mistouch prevention, and then you also get your keyboard mistouch right here, and then switch to previous apps, whole bunch of different stuff uh let's see gestures you got all your screen off gestures which will control your music when you swipe on your always on display to go through music so that's really cool you get your raise to wake all your normal stuff right there convenience tools power button you could choose what you want your power button to do whether you double click it or hold uh, you get your scout show results from apps not installed permissions things like that you get your split screen on how to use your split screen otg connection screenshot options all the different type of things right here for your system settings uh, you get your ram boost as well have that on and then of course all your developer options will be in here as well so easy to find you get your keyboard uh, system um, settings right here for your keyboard and then of course you get your about phone and Google and etc. So really cool updates uh, for the OnePlus 9. There are some quirks, like I said, uh, the camera app does tend to have some things that are uh, iffy about it. Like when you switch to portrait mode, sometimes it'll crash, uh, but everything seems to work pretty well. You do get a new option for your aspect ratio which is cool you get four by three 16 by nine and full which beforehand you would only get uh, four by three and full and one by one so no 16 by nine option and now we have that option so that's really excellent news go into your video mode you can record in night mode when doing video it'll dumb it down to 1080p but here are your options right here you get your 30 60 and 120 at 4k and then you also get your 8k at 30 and 120 you get your 1080p of course uh, you go into portrait mode you can shoot portrait as well you go into more you get your expert so no Hasselblad uh, expert settings it's just a regular expert and you don't get the x-pan feature on this version so if you like that feature do not try this developer preview out you get your time lapse tilt shift and slow-mo so very very cool Camera's still awesome, it still looks the same. Uh, I haven't seen any like drastic changes as far as the quality of photos, but everything still looks nice. And you do get, like I said, different options on here uh, for taking pictures. You also get a cool, um, I think it's an audio effects mode. So this will record stereo sound when taking videos in landscape. The recorded sound volume of the subject will be automatically adjusted as you zoom the video so this sort of has zoom, uh, zoom options for your audio so that's pretty cool and you could also do just standard so that's one feature that they've added on there focus lock you do a focus lock on there and then all your other different watermarks and things like that so very very cool on the camera front as far as other things uh, the messages app has changed a little bit as well so everything looks more android 12 ish especially in light mode very very like I guess not cartoony like but it's just different than oxygen os a little bit this color os i don't know how i feel about it it is different and it's a little bit not like stock and i don't know why oneplus is straying away from stock android that's what they did the best it was better than the pixel devices now they're going more towards the uh, oppo side and these chinese manufacturers os but with that being said guys this is still a great update stay tuned uh, hopefully we get another update to developer preview 3 or we get the final version of android 12 on the oneplus 9 but that is my rundown on this uh update hopefully you enjoyed thumbs up if you did thumbs down if you didn't subscribe like and share and i will see you guys in the next video peace